far we are come from. No lobster we have for dinner. Me no care what nobody say. Me come here so fi enjoy myself. Party. Mix the red rum with the chachi. Good morning, good morning. I want to do. I want to do the world. I want to do. Jesus Christ. Good morning. On this lovely Friday morning here. I'm going early morning, come in. I go rubber dubbing at the land. Friday morning. Come on, I'm going to look at greetings. I know so that I bring it from Ja. I want to do this morning mentally. I want to do. Because them say this month is mental health month. This month is teacher's month. This month is child's month. So much things. This month is mother's day. Mother's month and all of these things. So, I ask on everything one time. All of the mothers, them. I want to do it. All of the fathers, them. Them the next month are father's day. Every day is supposed to be father's day, mother's day, and child's day. But I don't know who come up with these things and say, a today, another day, yeah. Another day, yeah. So, happy teacher's month. May is child's month. And, we go to all of the mothers, them, and the people, them, but, the people, them, we are struggle mentally. How no do? Make we have a talk. We are going for you no. Know? Make we have a nice conversation this morning. We are going Rudy. Make we have a nice conversation this morning. I rise up and feel like someone want to talk to you. Know? You are mad right out. Because I see some people are struggle mentally bad. Some whole heap of things are stressed them out. All nurse man too. Alright. All of the nurse them. Big up on yourself. Happy nurse man too. How are this man? A man just come on and I tell me about look man him story, him just boss it. How are this? How is story? How are that? And see me pan live and tell me if you look at him story. Where you get that something from? Look by your story and just post it. Anyway. I don't know me always I talk about mental health. And how I see some people sit down and I got through some whole heap of thing. One of my friends tagged me in a post where a girl make. She must say they deliver Florida. She write a long paragraph and said she did dead inside for years. She was trying to please other people. I want to read it too now. And then we'll go down in it. Hold on, let me save my seat. Yeah, man, it's over the part, yeah. I read it too now, I could know how them delete the post delete. The post delete. But the girl kill herself. She said, everybody who have friends, you must check on your friends. If you consider somebody as your friend, you check on them. See? Check on your friends. Not just to borrow money from them. Check on them to see how they're doing. Try to find out. How them doing. Have a conversation with them and see. Where them are going with. See? 
because a whole heap of people a struggle mentally and some of them a plan for do some whole heap of things see and it really sad The post where the man said, I'm check ya. The man said, depression can be overwhelming. Take it seriously. Talk about it. Get you, get you an, an outlet. See counseling if resources allows you. Remember to breathe and this too shall pass. The fact you are still alive gives you opportunity to overcome. Good night. This are the post where the man just said, I'm check. See, big up yourself for this. People, me know no found to sit down and stress out. Me know. See it Student of Arlana Miller. Student Arlana Miller leaves heartbreaking message on Instagram minutes before committing suicide. See? She say, May this bring Yeah, I read it, say if you can't hear it. I don't want to hear it, so I read it and I'm going to hear May this bring me rest and peace. I have fought this urge since my early teenage years. I gave this life all the fight I had. To everyone who has entered my life, I'm so grateful. And I can only imagine how this may find you. I have been surrounded by people who may have honestly thought that I was okay, but I haven't been okay for a while. I struggled so much through just this year alone, from COVID to tearing my ACL to nearly falling, failing all my classes, to feeling to people, to people in my life. I pray I learned. To vocalize your feelings. I pray you learn to vocalize your feelings and get help always. <clears throat> I failed at that. And I'm afraid it's too late. Thank you so much. I pray. She said, Mom, thank you so much. I pray you know I'm at rest now. You wouldn't given you would have given anything to see me happy. You have given me everything to see me happy. I'm happy in the water where everything is still and peaceful. I have written so many suicide notes in my life, but finally I've received, I've reached my end. I hope this teaches everyone to check on your strong friends. Be present always. Zane. <clears throat> Be present always. But <clears throat> I'm contradicting myself but never give up. I know that I'm letting a lot of people down by what I'm doing, what I'm about to do. But truth is, I've already let down so many people throughout my life. And it just it just feels unbearable. I've lost connection with God. I've lost my connection with God. The devil seems to have one, and that is okay. I blame no one for this. I thank everyone for all they have done. And I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But thinking about how everyone else would feel about my death is not enough either. I've tried to please and make everyone happy. Listen to that part there, you know. I have tried to please and make everyone happy. The part there where she said, I have tried to please and make everyone happy my entire life. I have been dead inside for too long. To everyone I love, just remember that this is not your fault. And I pray you don't find guilt in my situation. To my granddad, I wish you were here to tell me I'm being stupid. To tell me it's not worth it. But you have left me and found your own peace. I've always been stubborn and prideful, just like you. I always dream of becoming so many things 
that I am today. But they just aren't enough. I'm not enough. I haven't felt it enough for a while. But, but I say all this to say I'm done fighting. My battle is over. And I pray for everyone. And I pray everyone finds peace. People. If somebody can sit down and write this. I don't tell you how long. This is a girl. A, a, this is a young girl who, in Florida. She took her own life. Right? And she wrote a suicide note on Instagram. Before killing herself. How she killed herself. We don't know. She said in the water. So. What I try to say to you is. I would keep on a buckle. Depression. And it takes a really strong person to continue. It takes a really strong person to continue with whatever they go through. Because many times you feel like you're alone. Many, 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 many times we feel like we don't have nobody. We sit down and we just say, we're not good enough. And people now going to accept with who we is and whatever. Remember, say a lot of people are gay and people now accept you. A lot of people are bisexual and people now accept you. That is a total different thing. For years, a lot of you all have been going through some whole heap of things. When I say some whole heap of things, like most people now go through financial Depression. So it depresses them how, fine, how things get expensive and them can't afford it. While they have some other people, they might go through depression because they might try to please them family. I believe pleasing your family is one of the biggest depression where you can go through. When you sit down and try to please family and friends because you try to get acceptance from them. A lot of young youths are going through this situation where they are trying to be like them parents. They might try to be like them father. Because you hear she say, she might try to be like her grandfather. See? She might try to be like her grandfather. And her grandfather would tell her say it's stupid and she says pride and all of that. See? Remember people, you love yourself and accept yourself for who you is. May I tell you, you will feel better about yourself. Because remember, you know, social media put you in a position for see what is people, who is people, and how some people do some things, you know. Social media bring a whole heap of people to them wits end, you know. Zine, social media do that. While you have some people now. The ones them where I try to please them parents and them friends, the acceptance that them I try to get. Them I try to get acceptance because a lot of us I try to please mothers and we I try to please fathers. Because the parents put so much pressure upon the youth them. Some of them, not all of them, you know, put so much pressure upon the youth. They say, remember say you have to do this, say you have to do that. And we don't do this. And we don't do that. And remember, we are not that type of family. We can't be friends with the lower class. We cannot do this and we cannot do that. We're not supposed to dress a certain way. And we grew up in the house of the Lord. We grew up in the house of the Lord. And we cannot do this and we must not do this. Like yesterday, my friend, baby, mother, go sabah, man. May I listen? Stop me to listen. And it have some holy for explicit in it, you know? It's a song me did a listen to it raw. She a go to church and she pass her ear. Me and her baby father listen to the music. And she have a problem with it. She take it up and she say, You forgot read your Bible. You forgot read your Bible. I want to say I listen. I want to say I listen. You forgot read your Bible. And me there and hear she had, like she going on the top of her voice more and more and like me I realize say it upset me. So I said to her, say, the time you take for your fast in my music, 
You should have cocked your ears and go on. You should have locked your ears and go on. Instead of you are telling me, I'm going read my Bible and leave this alone. This is how I pay me. This is how I survive off. This is how I live off. You figure read your Bible. You should not listen when me I listen. Oh, it loud, it loud. So rare, rare. This person, you never have to say nothing. You never have to say nothing. Go on, go read your Bible. Then she start telling me about church and it get me upset. Because I go as far as remember, say, $25,000 I pay a pastor man for preach over my mother. Zane, 25000 I pay for preach over my mother. So that's why I did rub me so wrong when she tell me about Bible and church and all of them something. There. But, sometimes, them say God give people work for God do and some people take up the work and go do the wrong thing. Them not do the work where God give them for do. See? But everybody will follow me. 200 people depend on this right now. See? 200 people are listen. Everybody have something with them I go through. Everybody. No found in a toxic relationship. No found in a see? No found in a toxic family. Enough on have some toxic friends. Where it's like you will have your one man. And you have your one man. And you are your one man. On average. But on alright being average. And them have them five and them six and them seven man. Right? And them I tell you say every time we attack, we have we look at girls' night, or we look at girls talk, or we group chat. All you can talk about is your Rodney. All you talking about is your Rodney. You never say you, got, you, you, you entertain the boy there. You never say you talk to the boy there or you give the boy there a number. You not talk about nobody else but Rodney while she talk about Tom, John, Dick and Harry and Larry. And the one day over there saw tell her say she have sex. She do a threesome last night. Like your relationship are going to be boring. Because for them life are going to sound exciting. But all we are going, your life are the better life. Because you have a balanced life. Remember, you know, everything not perfect because yeah, your man will argue. Yeah, your man will have disagreements. But at the end of the day, you have one man and you have one man there do whatever you want to do. So you have one man. While you have to entertain and please five and six and seven man. They might try to give your man, you know, want the man. They might try to give your girl, you know, want the girl. See? So what you have to do is learn how to deal with these people. Don't look no acceptance from them because now you, them will make you start looking at yourself and I say, go to all your man and start. Why with your man? You have all your man. Just like how this girl you come on and I say, she have a man and the man is nice. Him have a baby mother. Him have one youth. Them not there together. The man are dealing with youth good and the man is baby man not there. She says, them, it's too perfect. It's too nice. It's so nice that she don't like it because she's coming from a relationship where a problem she used to have with the man before. Now she get a man, she not have a problem with the man, leave him phone open, the man have everything open. The man have nothing to hide and she not like that. Till she go as far as say she want to go in an argument with the man, baby mother. The man and the baby mother not there, you know. But she have a message to the baby mother. Where you have a message to the baby mother for? Because you used to the toxicity. The toxicity. You used to that. Some people just born in a toxic and don't know how to come out. It's like, you know, your body want to cleanse and a wash out. And she don't know how to cleanse herself from toxicness. She don't know. So what you have to do? Learn how to deal with people like this. Your family now. You see, your family can be one of your biggest downfall in your life. Your family can be one of your biggest downfall in life. Your family can be one of your biggest downfall in a life because them expect you to do this. Yes, them send you to school. Yes, them say them support you. But when them expect say you to come back and come save the whole family, you have to come save the granny, the great granny, the great great granny. You have to come save Kojo and Nani of the Maroon. You know as a young person just gone out there in the world. 
you just don't know the end of the world and everybody expects that you are the golden child. You know, if you save yourself, you become save them. Me know no I'm not tired of no family I call you and I beg. They never call you and ask you if you're not all right. You see the family, they will not check for you and say if you're not all right. You have to learn for just detox on yourself from them. You have to learn to detox on yourself from them because they must stress you out that they are the one where, where remember, you know, first thing we have to look upon as a person, as one person, the first thing we have to do, I don't know if you listen to this, the first thing we have to do, learn to live without people. The people, they, they do a valuation of your family. And you say, okay, three, four years, five years, six years, ten years now, I have been the breadwinner. I send you to school. I make sure you have food in your house. I help out you with your pity them. I help this, I help that. You now look back for nothing in return, you know. You're not looking back for nothing in return, but you do a, re a, a evaluation. And you evaluate everybody. Where them value to your life. Because remember, you know, you don't value nothing to them more than what you have out of your pocket. So them love your hands. Your hands, you have given hands. But what, when your hand is tired, them never call you and say, my cousin, how you do? A long time when I talk, I want to sit down and have a talk. My auntie, how you do? My brother, how you do? Remember, you know, the only time if you check your family them, every time some of them take up them phone and message you, or something them and beg. And that's why you're so depressed. No family to live a foreign. No family to live a foreign, you know. Listen to the party, you know, for the ones that live a foreign. No family to live a foreign. And when I say, you want to live in a nice apartment, a foreign, you want to have a full house, five bedroom, four bedroom, three bedroom, whatever you want to have, you want to pay you know, bills them. See? The family member them call you know, and say, back to school I come, mother's day I come, sister day I come, auntie day I come. Every holiday, barrel come. You send a barrel for summer and you send a barrel for Christmas. You send the money for clear the barrel. And every year it brings problem. One sister have five pitney. One brother have six pitney. Cousin have this a pitney. And everybody you go to Obama, you spend thousands of dollars to make your family okay. And every time when you send the barrel them, you pay for clear it. You have to go as far as I put tape and write down and I say, me buy this for Julie. Me buy this for Susie. Me buy this for Marky. Me buy this for Ray, Ray, Ray. Whosoever clear the barrel it, and bring it home once it land at anybody yard where it land, the address of the yard where it land, everybody come and say, but I know this, she said me it forget and it bring a big problem. It bring a big problem. Remember these people where they are foreign sending these barrels. Me know on the love on the family. But if you see it, I bring your stress every time if you pack the barrel and send it, stop. You have to stop. Hear why me I tell us if you stop. Look in at yourself and remember this. When you're sick and you're there the doctor, none of these family now go wonder if you're all right. None of these family now go business boy. You have to just get back well by yourself and with the doctor's help. Learn for no say if you're dead, they are gonna survive. Learn for no say they were surviving without you and before you. You have to learn that. Don't ever feel like say nobody can live without you. Don't you ever feel that. You hear me say? Don't you ever feel like none of them family member ya can live without you. Enough time reads with some people. And them I say them love how me and my mother live. And them love how me and my youth them live. And them wish them and feel them mother or them father would have this relationship. Me see how you tell me say, only time my mother have a good conversation when she beg something. And if him give her something, she feel like she should, she should get more. It's like a buy my buy relationship. If you feel like you have to buy a relationship from nobody at all, you have to learn to live by yourself. Learn to love yourself. Learn to just know, say, you hear me? Remember, you know, you see your conscience, you see as long as your conscience set you free and your mind set you free, you will be all right. Because enough time you're ignorant and say, I never said nothing. Since I saw now go on and I saw now go on. Remember this, you know. 
You might send a pair of shoes, but when you not send them, still find shoes to wear. You might don't send a pants or a shirt, but they still find the pants and shirt to wear. Because they were surviving before you reach a foreign and they are going to survive after you leave foreign. I want to teach you another thing. I always tell people to treat themselves and love themselves. I always tell people to enjoy yourself. Because you see, bills is a thing where you have to pay. We have to pay bills. If you live a good life, you have to pay bills. If you live an average life, you have to pay bills. You have the below the poverty line. Enough people are live below the poverty line. Most of who depend on this not living below the poverty line because you get up and you go to your 9 to 5. Enough of you don't like with job. Enough of you don't like with job. But I eat pay the bills. I eat with depend on. See, you see a person who never work in a them life. Them are going to tell us a life rough when them start work. A person will just sit down and just wait for you to send barrel come and wait for you to send a money to a country even if you're there Jamaica. Them not going to understand. Them just know so they depend on you. So that's so the toxicness coming. If you have five people that depend on you, you're going to look at yourself and say, well, me and my family that depend on me. But remember, they can live without you. And they will live without you. Before you not found a father dead or before you found a mother dead. Don't use the sound you can't live without them. My mother dead, you know. My mother dead. May I live. But a part of me still missing, even though may I live. Because the acceptance, I fight with it enough time. I fight with it enough time. And I care on my ball and go on. It still bother me. I still not. See her come. I know my mother not even dream me. And I say, boy, you know, and talk to me like what you hear some people say, them mother dream. They're not even a good dream me not get from my mother. I see her and me not dream. See? So I know say I have to live regardless. No care how much I want my ball, she not come. So if you have a living family and they must stress you out, you have to look at yourself and say, I can't afford for this. And you have to look in the mirror and find back yourself. I feel a lot of people who sit down and are fret and are worried about relationship. I believe that that is one of the worst depression you're supposed to go in. If you sit down and are worried, say, oh, you gave your life to this person and this person come do you this and this person come do you that. You have to just look in the mirror and find back yourself. Because a lot of you are men and a lot of you are females who sit down and I say, boy, this is my love of my life. Of course, when you love a person, you have to love a person unconditionally. But if them decide, say, they're going to leave you. No care what you do. You could have tell them, say, you're going to change. You could have begged them to come back. Look more. Once them decide, say, they're not come back, you can't get them back. Because they don't make up their mind already. Remember when we're sick? Or you have somebody who's sick? When you go to the hospital and say, you're going to look for somebody. Anybody ever went to the hospital before and go look for somebody? What you take for them when you go to the hospital? Fruits, soup, water. Three things you bring to the hospital. Three things. When you're the outer road, what you do? You niam everything. You niam all dirt. You see all things where you not even want. You just take it up and eat it. So wait to show you say. You cannot eat dumpling in the hospital. You can't eat. Rice and peas at hospital. You can't eat oxtail at hospital. You can't eat chicken with the way I crack up the bone. You will eat chicken, but the chicken have to, have to, have to stay cut up fine. So when you remember, you never drink soup, you eat soup. You eat soup, but when you lay down on your back, a soup alone you can't drink. Perfect example. Why am I telling you that you can't give up? The little girl when named Kaylan, you, she as an example. Remember, you see them, you see them put up, say, a girl stab a girl. I say, them stab, a next girl stab a girl and kill her.